Good morning and thanks so much for being with us today. I'm Sarah Arbogast. For the past week, a special film festival has been underway right here in Pittsburgh. It's featured full length films along with a short film program. All of the films though have one thing in common. They tell the stories about the lives and artistic expressions of people with disabilities. Tonight, the Real Abilities Film Festival wraps up with a special event, the Pittsburgh premiere of a movie called My Feral Heart. And the film is not only about a man with Down syndrome, but is played by an amazing young man with Down syndrome himself. His brilliant, touching portrayal of a character determined to care for those in need helps others learn that we are not all so different from each other. And that really is the message of the entire Real Abilities Film Festival. We want to welcome Executive Director of Pittsburgh Film, Catherine Spitz Cohan, and the director of tonight's featured film, My Feral Heart, Jane Gall. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, good morning. Morning. Let's start off talking about this film, such an important film for people to see. Where did you get the idea to even do something like this? Well, the idea initially came to me from the writer. So the writer came to me when he had the idea before he'd even written the script. Yeah. Um, and I just thought it was really original, really refreshing and just brilliant characters. So I was really excited to, to get the opportunity to direct it. And tell us about the young actor who's so brilliant in this, this film. Yeah, Stephen Brandon, it's his first film. He'd never acted before this film. And I'd searched the whole country, the whole of the UK, <laughs> wow. looking for somebody that could play this character because it demands such a lot from an actor. Um, and I found him in a drama school that's run by a friend of mine. It's a theatre school um, where he goes once a week and very close to my old hometown. So it's right under my nose. And what was it about him that when you met him, you said, OK, this is the person who needs to be in this? Well, initially, I was seeing him for just one of the supporting roles in the care home, not for the lead character at yeah. all, because Stephen gets stage fright and he doesn't like performing on stage. Um, but when I met him, I just thought he was brilliant and I really felt that he could bring something to the character of Luke and offered him the part and he accepted and here we are. And he is, he is so amazing. Like, I, I'm so shocked mm. to know that he had stage fright because in the film, as a retired actor, like, he, he was so good. We're showing some clips from the actual film there. Kind of walk us through and give us an idea of what the film is all about. So the film is about a young man called Luke, who Stephen plays, and he has Down syndrome, and he cares for his elderly mother. And when his mother passes away, he's taken by social services to a care home where he doesn't want to be and he tries to escape and it's really about the friendships and how he deals with grief and loss. How was it working with someone with special needs? How did that impact you as the director of this? For me it didn't really make any difference because everybody, every single actor is different. Right. You know, although the message of the film is we're not so different, but every actor is unique and has to, you, as a director, you work with them in a different way. So this was actually, for me, the biggest challenge was that Stephen hadn't acted in a film before. It wasn't the fact that he had Down syndrome. Right. And to play a lead role in a film where you're on set every day is a challenge for any actor, not just somebody that has Down syndrome. I'm sure, like you said, being his first film, there were a lot of new... Yeah first experiences for him. And Catherine, let me ask you, this film festival is such a unique opportunity for people to come together and really see some different works of art. Why is it so important to bring something like this to the city? I think most importantly, just getting out um, and having people with disabilities um, in the audience and up on the screen and right. Um, bringing people, just people that love good movies to the movie theater. Um, I think that that exposure and the act of bringing people together is so important in terms of having us all um, be respectful of one another and treat one another um, as we would wish to be treated. I think sometimes for some people it's just, well, like, I don't know anybody with a disability. Right. And so I don't know how to talk to them. So Real Abilities bring, gives people the opportunity after every film we have a party, uh, you know, like an after party, yeah. and it gives, and the guests come and, and we're able to talk and have conversations. And I just think that 
that's the valuable, the, the value of the Real Abilities Film Festival. Absolutely. And you mentioned the after party tonight. Yeah. Each yeah. one of the events, you know, has something special. Tell us about tonight's premiere. People are going to be able to see the film and then what? Correct. Happens? So tonight is closing night. Uh, there's been a party after every, but mm -hmm. tonight is closing night, and um, they'll, they'll see the film, which I can't recommend enough. Fabulous, and there are still tickets available. Then we'll have a Q&A with Jane, mm -hmm. and then following that, there's an after party, um, catered after parties. So it'll be fun with beer and wine, and please come. And Jane, I want to go back to you and just ask you, what did you get out of doing this film? It had to be pretty rewarding for you as well. It's been amazing. The whole experience, is, it's been fantastic. It was my first feature film as well. Um, hopefully it won't be the last. Yeah. And just working with Stephen, he's a really close friend of mine now, and seeing him progress, and I really hope that he goes on, and I'm sure he will, to do other things. And it's not just you know, a one-hit wonder that he will continue to be able to sustain an acting career. Yeah, I was going to ask you about him. Did he enjoy doing this, and does he hope to continue on in this path? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. And if people missed this film festival, because tonight is the closing night, right. will it be back again next yes. year? Yes. So this is our fifth year, sixth year, obviously, next fall, most likely same time frame, um, September. All right. Sounds wonderful. Thank you both, and good luck tonight with the film Thank you. and that party afterwards. We'll come see the final Real Abilities Film Festival event tonight. My Feral Heart makes its Pittsburgh premiere at 7 o'clock at the Southside Works Cinema, followed by a question and answer session and after party with our guest today, the film's director, Jane Gall.